systems from the schools they get their bad teaching from the church they get their bad teaching at their home they get their bad teaching so you see people grow up and they never really know the truth The church is even harder than the um, 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 politicians yeah. because they have the people continually all the time mm. with Christianity, mm. just slaving the people, just using the word of Christianity mm. to have the people slave. So, um, you yourself, you're not a Christian. But Christian, Christian is is not a bad word, and the way like society is making it or doing it is I don't think it's in the right way. Mm -hmm. Because they just the, uh, acting or uh, using the words of Christian just to have the people where they want the people to be. Mm -hmm. But the, the the description of Christian is supposed to be it is somebody who following the yeah, teachings it's, it's of a, it's Jesus a, it's Christ. It's a good teaching. Yeah, but when you look at the community, do you think that the people because Jesus Christ wanted the people to really feed the sick, um, he you know get involved in. F Feeding the hungry, people who do not have um, clothes, clothing them, yeah. going and visit the sick, and things like that. Do you see it right now in the community? Do you think that the Christians are doing those things that Jesus Christ asked them to do? Well, well, I, well. How I really see it right now, I because everybody is for themselves, and the the people who call them Christian, who are supposed to be doing them things. I don't see that in them. And if if them things have to be doing, it have to be doing by those who call themselves Christian. Mm -hmm. And I don't see that in them. Uh -huh. So um, the the church, what we call the church. What do, how do you see the church in the community? What, do you see the church as something important, or is the church helping the community in any way? I don't see that because firstly they call the building the church mm -hmm. and it all goes like that we are supposed to be the church we have to come together and whatever that's necessary that's important to help the community we have to come together to do it as the body of Christ as the church mm -hmm. and not um, not the building mm -hmm. because just good understanding we come together and we help those who need help and those who in need. Mm -hmm. So, among people like me and other people that call themselves Christians, do you see them trying to push any righteousness in the community as people that are pushing righteousness and people that, you know, even young people should use as an example of righteousness? Do you see that happening? Not really, because how I see it, eh? Those people who go into the building, their belief is like those who go in the building is them, the Father, have prepared a place for them to be saved. That's what I see they believe in. As if they are the servant of the Father, they are the one who saved already to them that they save. Mm -hmm. But it don't goes like that. It goes of the way that the way that you think and the way that you act. Because the father said, by, by your works you shall be judged. Mm -hmm. And it takes time to see every man work. Mm -hmm. Because time will answer and time will show everything. Okay, when we look at the community now, we see there is a lot of, um, there is a lot of crime. Right now there is even gang violence. You have different gangs. We have a problem with drugs. We have all the young people, a lot of the young people growing up. And their whole mindset is that they should get involved in selling drugs and things like that. We have a lot of problems in the community. Do you see the church helping to solve these problems that we have? No, no. Like I said earlier on, everybody like is for themselves. Nobody cares for the poor, nobody cares for the needy, nobody cares for for the for, for the helpless. Nobody do care. Mm -hmm. Because it's like a race, a rat race where people believe that we have to gather things to go to somewhere and I don't know where where is that place that we gather in whatever that we gather to go and day by day you see people die who have all the riches and who 
have all the wealth and they die and everything stays there. But still we gather things, people gather things as if fighting, gather things to, I don't know what case they take in whatever that they gather in together. Mm. I don't know. But I do see that people trying to help in that situation at all because it's getting worse and worse all the time. Now, the, peop the, the leaders of the church, the pastors, the deacons and those people, they are leaders. But so if you're leading somebody or group, that you're supposed to be taking them somewhere, you're leading them somewhere or for something. What is it that what is it th that you think the leaders of the church are doing? What where are they trying to take the people? What is it that they're trying to do for the people? How are they helping the people? Well, from growing up, little boy, I met them churches system around, and I'm a big man now today living on my own and I have my own life and the same system is running and I haven't seen any light in that where where there is no I don't see no way nowhere the people that's why you see that's why you see people keep on getting out of them system because they say the people backsliding because I believe that if honey is something that is nice and, and sweet and mm -hmm. when you taste honey you will come back and taste it all the time and you'll always want honey and the words of god is like honey and if there is a place where is solution is um joy is equal rights i believe the people won't, won't backslide mm -hmm. because i believe the reason why the people is getting out because the people tired, the people sick, and the people have been waiting, and the people get, uh, getting no good result. But everything, I believe, everything is before all of us. There's nowhere that we have to go to get nothing. It's in your mind, mentally and spiritually, you live that life. They are trying to teach you because the doctrine I believe that they give in is the wrong doctrine. That's why you see. So much corruption is around the people and the churches and even the community you see as you said so much gang and so much thing because if there was good doctrine in the churches i believe we would have stand strong to it finally um what advice would you give to um to the church people or to the church leaders in terms of being the example that they're supposed to be what what advice you would give them well my advice to the leaders of the church is like to teach the people is to let the people know who they are teach the people about their roots and their culture who they really are it, but because in the churches they don't talk the people that they don't let the people know who they are because society today don't want you to know who you are so that they're in control of you all the time because if they let you know who you are you will be in control of yourself so they don't they don't accept you to, to 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 know who you are and they don't want to their aim is not for you to know who you are so that they're in control of you all the time so that's the situation that's the problem because many people that you see that going in the church they don't know who they are they are just a follower of what they are seeing before them and not a follower of christ as they say they are followers of other people and all what you hear is what the pastor say, what the um, priest say, what the um, government say, what the doctor say. In society, whatever um, big man in society say, that is it. But you have a mind, you have a head of yours, you have to decide for you and you have to think for you because that's why God put, give you your head. God give, didn't give one man a head. To think for other people he gives everybody they have to think and to see for their own mm. but society make the people believe on them especially in the church you know and that's why you see the church is crumbling the, the i won't say the church that's why you see the people crumbling because the church is not is not the is not the building the church is the body the human body we come together and decide and whatever that need to be done in the community we come together and we we put our hearts together and we give a helping hand and that's the that's the way of the father yeah. so yeah thank you man for your words your knowledge
and your thoughts on this matter just keep the fire burning i will always do